After the Covenant fled from the planet of Arcadia, the UNSC Spirit of Fire pursued them to the outermost reaches of space. Fully recognizing that the capture of Professor Anders was a security breach that could change the course of the war. Following her signal to a barren planet deep within Covenant territory, Serena, the ship's AI, conducted a thorough scan of the world's surface. In the process, she accidentally triggered a mysterious machine, opening an immense aperture on its surface and forcing the spirit of fire below. At the center of this world lay the Apex site, an elevated platform where the Covenant commander known as the Arbiter had brought the human professor. It was here that the Prophet of Regret ordered that Anders be used to activate the dormant forerunner vessels that hung around them, a fleet of unimaginable power. Before he was able to activate the fleet, a new threat was revealed as the Spirit of Fire worked its way through dark caverns within the planet's shell and toward their position. Rising from this bizarre construct, the UNSC ship found itself on the interior of the Dyson Sphere, something the forerunners called the Shield World a superstructure with a vast interior surface and a burning sun at its core. The Arbiter wasted no time addressing the human presence, sending a Covenant destroyer to meet it as it sped toward them. A brief engagement ensued in which both ships were badly damaged, escaping to the opposite ends of the shell's interior. The Arbiter quickly forced Anders to trigger the Apex site's main console, an act which would activate the Forerunner fleet. The ancients have granted us the power to do your race. Let the deconstruction of our gifts begin. The majesty of our new fleet will be unparalleled. While the Covenant were momentarily distracted, Anders used a nearby platform to escape to the Shield World surface. There she would find herself in peril once more, as the savage flood parasite spread across the structure's interior, 